question 12, part C. So I'll scroll over to part C. So we have, it says consider the complex numbers P, which is 1 minus 3i, and Q, which is x plus 2x plus 1i, where x is uh, the element of the real numbers here. Now in part C, find the values of x that satisfy the equation. So find the values of x that satisfy the equation. The magnitude of P equals the magnitude of Q. Now, what we can essentially just go and do is find the magnitude of P. So the magnitude of P, this would just equal the square root of each of the terms squared. So one squared plus negative three squared. And this will just be uh, one and nine, which is root 10. So root 10. And we know that the uh, the magnitude of Q will be the square root of x squared plus 2x plus 1 squared. Now we can't really simplify that at the moment, but I do know that this, we want to make this equal to that. So let's go ahead and do that. So P magnitude equals Q magnitude. We're going to get root 10 is equal to the square root of x squared plus 2x plus 1 all squared. Now I'm going to try and solve this for x, so I can square both sides here. I'm going to get 10 equals x squared plus 2x plus 1 all squared. I'm going to then expand and, and, and collate my terms. So 10 will equal x squared plus 2x plus 1 all squared is 4x squared plus 2x and 2x, so 4x plus 1. So I'm left with now a quadratic. I have 5x squared plus 4x, and this will be minus 9 equals 0. Uh, I can try and solve my quadratic now by either the quadratic formula or factorising. If we're good at factorising, uh, you can get 5x plus 9 and x minus 1. Just check that. 5x squared minus... Yep, that looks right. So therefore, null factor law, we're going to get x equals negative 9 on 5. And we're going to get x equals positive 1. Okay, that's the answer to part C.